the writers are quite different. I, I focus on seven writers. Uh, so in that time period in Ukraine, uh, there were seven uh, writers who had these intellectuals as protagonists in their prose works. And those writers are Oksana Zabushko, Yuri Istrik, uh, Volodymyr Dibrova, Yuri Guts, Kostyantin Moskalets, Yuri Andrukovich, and Yevhenia Kononenko. Um, and I looked at the works, again, where they featured uh, such protagonists. But the styles are, are, are quite different from writer to writer, um, but this is what they had in common. So then I was looking at how these different writers in their different styles uh, are depicting this intellectual. What I concluded is in these three uh, new prototypes of the Ukraine intellectual, the first one, the swashbuckling performer, on these pages of this prose, the new Ukraine intellectual ends up being somebody who has talent, has something that the masses want. He's at the center of attention. He's cool. He has an effect on people. He has uh, effect of charming uh, uh, of performance, the, 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 this power of performance and of, of being the center and moving masses uh, becomes uh, Ukraine intellectuals doing that. You know, we really didn't have that before in Ukrainian literature. Um, and even in some cases, you know, he's fighting his opponents physically and beating them or she is overwhelming a crowd of people with with her with her talk. So um, and, and this is chiefly in, in the works of uh, Yuri Andrukhovich, we see this this prototype of the Ukraine intellectual, this swashbuckling performer, as I call it, but also in works uh, of other writers. Now, the second prototype that I saw among these uh, among these characters was the ambassador uh, to the West. So again, just like uh, I mentioned why these people were prepared to roll up their sleeves and, and do something new and exciting in Ukraine uh, at the beginning, uh, where, where everybody else was kind of uh, sitting back, uh, these writers, many of these writers, or several of these writers that I focus on, were among the first people to have contact with the West. Uh, many of them traveled to the West. And uh, their observations and what they experience in the West ends up informing their prose. Uh, so in, in some ways you can see that they're, they're reporting on the West for their readers back home. But uh, it's not that that simple. It's actually more, more importantly, they are in these works. We see how these characters, when they are in the West, how they're picking, they're saying what's strange to them and what is not. Oh, this is, and so, and, and they're picking and choosing through what uh, they think is compatible with this post-Soviet Ukrainian identity by making fun of it or by accenting on this, rejecting this, um, accepting this. So this is, that's why I call them these ambassadors because also, um, they not only reported on the West for Ukraine, but they represented Ukraine for the West. And we see in these novels often uh, the knowledge or the lack of knowledge of the West about Ukraine. And generally, it's a report of ignorance. Uh, and it's often poked fun of uh, in these works. So, so that's, an, that's an important function for the Ukrainian intellectual to, to be this ambassador to the West in these early years. Uh, and then the third character, the sixth soul that you were asking about, this is a uh, this is a character who is is abnormal, uh, is sick, is, is 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 a little different than everyone else. So when I was talking about this, the relationship with intellectuals in society, this is somebody who has is not necessarily fitting in. He's also sick in that he is or she is um, is taking the ills of their nation, of their country. And they're internalizing it, and they're suffering for that as intellectuals, right? That's what they do. Uh, so they're not well. Uh, and oftentimes they lead to abuse, self-abuse, alcoholism, um, and other. So we, 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 see, we see mentions of this uh, throughout these works as well, this self-destruction, uh, this idea of, of, being, of being sick and not well. So thus the sick soul. So those are the three protagonists that I was able to trace uh, in these works.